Good morning, today let's talk about testing your code, not about testing some specific framework, but testing in general, like what kind of things can you test and how to do this. We'll begin with the easiest case and it is pure functions. I will add a link somewhere here to the pure functions video that I have on my channel. But in short, pure functions return same output for any specific input and also they don't have side effects. And side effects are changing some global or internal state or making input-output operations, like reading user input or making network requests. I'm going to define a greet function that will accept name as an argument and return text hello plus name. Export function greet. It has an argument name and it returns a template string saying hello name exclamation mark. This is a very simple function as you can see, it is pure because for any given name, it will always return the same value, hello and name. And also it doesn't have any side effects. We're not reading any user input. We're not making network requests. We're not storing anything in the global state. And we don't have an internal state inside of this function. So it is pure. Now let's write a test for it. Create a new file, pure functions, spec. Js. I'm going to use jest to both write and run the tests. So let's begin by defining a new describe block. Describe greet. We're describing the greet function. And then we want to describe specific behavior that it has. So it returns greeting with a given name. Let's define the callback where we'll write the expectation. We expect that greet and we need to import this function that greet with name test to equal hello test this is the beauty of pure functions as we only need to test their output for the specific input their tests are very easy to write let's run the tests just and our test passes it is usually a good idea to verify that your test could ever fail so let's change the expectation. Instead of hello test, let's expect hello username. We run the tests again. And now they fail because the outputs don't, don't match. Let's fix it back. Now let's test something more complex. Let's test a function that performs a side effect. Let's create a new file. Save it as side effects.js. Here we'll define a function, export function. We'll call it notify and it will accept the message and inside of it we're gonna call the alert method and pass the message to it. So when we call our notify function it will alert the message to the user. Here we have two problems. First we need to know when do we call the alert because this is the business logic of our function it calls the alert method and the second problem is that alert method exists only in the browser environment and we're running our tests in node environment where we don't really have the alert method so in our test we will have to mock it create a new file called side effects spec.js we're going to describe notify let's write the callback and then we write what do we expect we expect that it alerts the given message a callback. We know that we will have to call our notify message in our test somewhere. Let's do it. Notify and let's pass test message as a message. Here in our test we want to check if the alert method was called. So let's mock it. Just spy on window method alert and we're gonna mock implementation to be just a void function. Now inside our test after we call the notify method we can expect that window alert to be called with test message. Let's run the test. The side effect tests have passed. And again, let's verify that we can actually break it. So let's test if it was called with uh, some other message. Run the test again. And now it failed. Last thing I want to show is testing object methods. We'll create a new file, object methods.js. Let's define a class cart. It's a shopping cart where we can add items. Export class cart. It will have uh, field items. By default it will be an empty array. And it will have a method add item that will be a function that accepts an item. And it appends this item to the items list. 
So add item method changes the internal state of this card object. Now let's write the test. First we import card from object methods. We describe card object, we write a callback, and then we describe the specific method we are gonna test. Describe add item. Now we expect that it adds an item to the items list. And here we can follow the arrange act assert pattern, where we first arrange the conditions before the test. So we create the card, const card equals new card. We create an instance of the card class. This is the arrange step. Then we act, we perform some action, card add item. Let's say we want to add a tomato. And then we assert expect card items to equal an array containing tomato. So we've created an instance of the cart object, then we've added an item tomato, and then we made an expectation that cart items equals an array that contains a tomato. Let's run the tests. Just object methods. The test passes. Let's try to break it. Tomato, potato. Let's run it again. It fails, so now we are sure that we were actually testing something. And let's fix it back. The sample code for this video will be in the description. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to pick the topics for the next videos, then join my Discord server and the link is also in the description. See you next time. Or oh, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel.